Hi there. If you're seeing this fatal error allowed memory size of X amount bytes exhausted, it just means that uh, the plugin or uh, some software on your website is not able to run because it's exhausting the amount of memory that is uh, on your server. So in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can increase your PHP memory very simply for your website if you see this message. So let's begin, shall we? Okay, let's squash this fatal error message bug uh, for good. All right, so what you're gonna do now is you're gonna log in to your cPanel account. So to get to your cPanel, you can put your domain name, your domain.com forward slash cPanel, C-P-A-N-E-L. Then you'll come to something similar to this. And it, it might look a little bit different because cPanel can have a different look, but essentially it's the same. So all you're doing is basically looking for the file manager icon, and then you're just gonna click on it. That's gonna open up in a new window, and or a new tab, I should say. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna find the public HTML folder. Then that will bring you into your website root folder. Okay, so then what we do after that is go to wp-config.php, go up and edit that particular file. So we'll click edit again. Okay, so this is the wp-config.php file, a very important file for WordPress. Then all we do is just scroll down to the very bottom and you'll see a line, uh, it might be on line 81, uh, define wp debug um, false. What we're going to do is we're going to then copy the uh, the line here that I've got in my text editor. This will also be in the site description in the website uh, in the video description. Get it up, Paul. Okay, um, so we copy that and we paste it just underneath the WP debug false. All right. So then we've got define WP memory limit. So what we're doing here is we're telling the server that the website's sitting on that we want the PHP memory to be increased to 256 megabytes. So it could be maybe around 32 megabytes um, as default. So we're increasing that to 256. So therefore our plugin or theme or whatever software we're running on our website will actually be able to handle the uh, resources and um, will be able to run for us because we have a higher PHP memory. And that's pretty much it. Um, oh, before we do that, I've got to save it. So we save the uh, changes at the top and then that's it. And we go to our website and we look at the, uh, and then reload it and make sure that um, there's no issue there anymore. If there is uh, still an issue, then you may need to reach out to your host company directly and ask them to increase it for you or to um, look at the issue for you. So I hope that video has helped. Um, and uh, if you've liked this video, can you please uh, give me a thumbs up and please subscribe because I'll be putting out some more videos very similar to this in the near future. So um, I'd love to have you, uh, have you back again to uh, view my videos. And if you have any questions, of course, leave them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye for now.